Ladies and gentlemen, with eight minutes to post, here's the field for tonight's Abraham Lincoln Stakes. Number one is Falcons K, owned by Tom Harmer of Hensdale, Illinois, trained by Ed Kalras, driven by Walter Paisley, one Falcons K. Here is entry mate, 1A Falcon Rule. Falcon Rule is owned by Charles Day in the Sierra Stables of Florida, trained by Ed Kalras, driven by Tommy Harmer, 1A Falcon Rule. Number two is Black Gold Road, owned by Richard Staley of Los Angeles, California, trained by Doug Ackerman, driver Homer Hoxtether, 2, Black Gold Road. Entry mate, number 2B, Interpreter. Interpreter is also owned by Richard Staley of Los Angeles, trained by Doug Ackerman, and will be driven by D.R. Ackerman, number 2B, Interpreter. Number 3 is Harbor Loop. Harbor Loop is owned by the Trevor Ritchie, John Dunning, and Hyatt Holdings Incorporated of Ontario. Trained by John Dunning and driven by Ronnie Marsh. Number four is Three Wizards. Three Wizards is owned jointly by Erman Lanzalotti, Jerry Farber, and Fred Assey of Michigan. Trained by Dave Elliott and will be driven by Bill Gale. Number four, Three Wizards. Number five is Ladies Nia King. Ladies, Naya King is owned jointly by Dela Cruz and Schwartz of Illinois and Iowa, trained by Jim Blight, and will be driven by Dave McGee. Number five, Ladies, Naya King. And number six is Proboscis. Proboscis is owned by the Cantario Farms, Dan Thompson and Duncan Bry of Ontario, trained by Blair Burgess, and will be driven by Blair Burgess. Number six, Proboscis. And that's the field for the Abraham Lincoln. Perfect away trade. There's six minutes. They've reached the starting gate. The gate is running. Field moves to the top of the turn. And here they come. They're all fan pacing. There goes Harbor Loop on the inside, going right for the lead. Three Wizards, and it's those two. Into the turn they race, and Harbor Loop is on the inside. Three Wizards moves on him on the outside, and there goes three Wizards now to take command. It's Harbor Loop back to second. Falcons came in third, double length and a quarter. Followed on the outside of horses by Interpreter. It's Black Gold Road. On the outside, that's Falcon Rule. It's Ladies Naya King. And trailing by the quarter, Pro Boscas. They're moving by the quarter. 28 and 2, the quarter and three wizards maintains a lead a length and a half. It's Harbor Loop right there in second, two lengths. Falcons K is tucked in third, a length and a quarter interpreter ranging up on the outside. Followed on the inside of horses by Black Gold Rolled and Falcon Roll. As they approach the half mile marker, it's three wizards with the lead. It's Harbor Loop. Right there in second, but here comes Interpreter. Was fourth, now third, second, they're halfway home. Fifty-eight and four, now they drive into the clubhouse turn. Your leader is three, Wizards Interpreter. Now second down the outside, it's Harbor Loop. Is right there in third. Followed on the inside of horses by Falcons, K and Black Gold Road. Now they curve into the back stretch, approaching the final quarter. It's three, Wizards a length. On the outside, that's Interpreter trying to come on. It's Harbor Loop. He needs racing room on the inside. Hold on the outside of horses. Falcons, Key, and Black Gold Road. They're ready. Three quarters, one, twenty-seven, and four. On the inside, it's three wizards. On the outside, it's Interpreter. Here comes Black Gold Road. Now moving for three wide. Here they come, turning far home. It's three wizards with the lead. It's Interpreter on the outside. Full it on the far outside, Black Gold Road. Down the stretch. Your leader is three wizards on the outside. It's Interpreter. Three wizards, Interpreter, and Black Gold Road.
In tonight's featured sixth race, number four, three Wizards was first. Number 2B, Interpreter, was second. Number 2, Black Gold Road, was third. Number five, Lady Nye King was four. Results are official. Time for the mile, 157, one fat. In the winner's circle, number four, Three Wizards. Three Wizards is owned jointly by Erman Lanzolotti, Gerald Farber, and Fred Essie of Michigan. Trained by Dave Elliott and driven to victory by Bill Gale. In the winner's circle to congratulate the winning team, Maywood Park Racing Secretary, Doc Narotsky. The 4-2 Perfecto returns $6.80. Cents. Six eighty. Hi, I'm Trish Shepard, and I'm in the winner's circle with winning driver Bill Gale, who just drove Happy Wizards to victory in the $130,000 Abe Lincoln Pace. Bill, there wasn't much strategy. I mean, it was a wire-to-wire -wire win. But could you tell us, were you worried? Were you threatened? Or were you all out? Well, it wasn't really all out. We paced a pretty good 16th right down at the wire. But I had the horse I figured I had to beat was parked on the outside. And I thought that's where the race was. And I was in the better position of the two horses. No doubt about that. Interpreter did see a lot of outside air there. Uh, is this the first time you ever drove three wizards? Yes, it is. Uh, his regular driver, Benny Webster, couldn't make it tonight, and I'm close friends with the owners on this horse. They asked me to come up and drive him. I imagine you had seen him race before, though. I've seen him right from the first day he started training. This colt was trained at Windsor Raceway. That's right. I believe uh, Ron Henderson gave him his early lessons. Is that correct? Yeah, Ronnie did a great job with this colt, and due to other commitments, he couldn't travel with him, so... I ended up with the drive tonight anyways. We're glad you're on tap. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.